did it? That is the question being asked today regarding Made Mint, a ghost VTuber, yesterday tweeting out, thank you for 100,000 Twitter followers, and earlier celebrating 100,000 YouTube subscribers, stating three years ago, I never would have imagined this happening in my after lifetime. Thank you so, 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 so much. Met receiving congratulations from V Shoujo's Zentrea, cooking VTuber Onigiri, alongside V Shoujo's Matra Khan, recently launching a limited time podcast alongside Made Mint. Mint also further sharing regarding her YouTube channel that she still has a strike on the channel from the BBC. But getting attention recently was this admission from Made Mint regarding how she is receiving hate. Um, Israfel, thank you. Sometimes I get, um... What's the word? I get nervous seeing like offline donations. I do appreciate them very much. Uh, but I get nervous because sometimes it's like... A hate message. <laughs> so, I'm just... If I have my OBS open and I hear that I get a donation, I'm like... <laughs> but I understand if you can't make it to the stream or something. So, I, I do still appreciate it. You know? So, thank you. <laughs> Users of Reddit going on to wonder aloud just who is sending this hate. One comment here with, I guess those who don't want her to be another example that Niji Livers can do just as well, or even better outside Niji Sanji. Look at them turning on Mint as soon as she left. And also, they are so pathetic for doing this. What is even more sad is that Mint said that she should be used to it. Also, we have this user on Reddit stating, if you leave, we will support you. Usan receives support, Kuro receives support, Matara receives support, Doki receives support, Quinn receives support, and now Mint is receiving support. And while Sayu didn't get support initially, we are making up for that now. If you leave, we will support you. You deserve happiness. And that can be achieved outside of Niji, who are worth more than the Niji brand. No matter what anybody says, if you leave, we will support you. Once again, that message mentioning the half-android Sayu, now also closing in on 100,000 YouTube subscribers. Now, while Mint was prepping for her return stream, the morning of saying, the weather is nice Nice. My skin is clear. The crops are watered. My spirits are high. It's a happy day. Mint then taking the stream to answer the question, is she back permanently? Is M.I. coming back permanently? Is this like, is this it? Is this, is this the finale, the final return of Mint Phantom? Is this, is this everything? Is, um, is this, uh, uh, boo -boo -boo? The simple answer is truly, I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, but as long as the podcast is going, I'll be around. Um, I wish I could give you a more concrete answer. I wish I could tell you guys a lot of things. Then further going on to answer the question, why did she come back? Oh, I wrote that down. Why did you come back? <laughs> I wrote, even in heaven, I felt restless. And like I had some unfinished business. <sighs> I don't think I was ready to go. So maybe I'm best at being a ghost than an angel. Maybe. I even got my wings and everything. I think they were fake though. I think they were cardboard. <laughs> Couldn't even fly properly. <laughs> So while Mint would go on to show off the new expressions on her model, seen turning left and right here alongside her new chibi form. That right away being recognized as a Kevin X modeling job, offering up this Resurrection Showcase 2.0 I've reimagined and reanimated. Mint being given loads of new expressions, complete with these heart eyes, roaming Tuna remarking, I'm normal, I'm normal, I'm normal. And then upon seeing this expression, Tuna posting this. Share if you don't, don't think. Mint even able to make a kissy face as this return stream was being watched by Ghost Girl Marley. Beforehand saying, I'm about to be real obnoxious in about 40 minutes, but I'll try to tone it down after today. I even got my glow sticks out and ready. Marley taking this video and saying, crying at 4 a.m. This return stream hitting over 24,000 concurrent viewers. And as seen here, being very lucrative for Mint. Afterward, this ghost VTuber remarking coming down from the stream. I hope everyone had 
had fun. Sorry my throat was being so icky and sorry my brain was so scattered and I had everything all over the place. I'm so happy to be back. Thank you. What's a con watching and saying, OMG, we stole this from another server. Who made this beautiful emote? Other old school fans showing off their Made Mint VIP membership cards from over three and a half years ago. Made Mint also making shout outs to her friends. Firstly, sending out this bow bow. And upon seeing this artwork from Takanashi Kiara's Chimera, Mint wasted no time making a Metal Gear connection. Further sharing this photo and saying I have it displayed and look at my favorite brothers every day. Still haven't played it myself since I've been waiting for this moment. Zendre immediately responding, I see Ace Combat. Mint asking Zen is a plane enjoyer. Zen replying further, I played Ace Combat 7, 6, and 5. I remember when they had Love Live Idol as plane skins. As after that return stream, Mint would have an even more novel stream, showing off her Metal Gear Solid Pachi slot machine that she owns. Stating had to do a bunch of rearranging and building and stuff for this stream, but I think it'll be fun. There's usually a whole lot of nothing that happens, but when it gets exciting, it's really fun. The audio on this stream requiring two microphones and creating its own problems. Min, after saying, I'm also so sorry about the sound issues and any ear damage. I feel so legitimately bad. I thought I had checked the levels beforehand, but I'll be better about it next time. And in further news for Made Mint, the Mint cord is open. Stating, keep in mind, the server is 18 plus before you join. Mint herself asking, can I join? And receiving back the reply of, uh, yeah, I guess sure, we still have the boomer role. As later, Mint would simply tweet out HAGS, leading to the Sox VTubing agency to reply back and chanting HAGS, 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 HAGS. This officially standing for Have a Great Summer or Have a Great Spring. That is heard on the most recent podcast alongside Matara Khan. These two good friends seen in this artwork from Mail. Mint replying, this is actually so accurate, along with Save Me. Well, further along, we have more artwork of the two, including this piece from Sai, offering up this Mint and Matara Monday, who would hear with Metal Gear and posting up this Easy Moto artwork, alongside this artwork of the two by Sarami. And speaking of artwork, Mint noticed this animation from Tuna and saying, this is me in your brain sweeping away the bad thoughts. As next to the Mint gallery, we have this piece from Maru giving us a boo. Igarik offering up this hello. Xanadu here with those toggles do be nice. Beaver tweeting out, busting makes me feel good. Well, we also have a Mimey here with welcome back. Next, there's Stove with expression practice. Aperture here with sing, sing a song and congrats on 100,000. And lastly, Das Doctor with age hasn't slowed you down one bit. Then today saying, I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Just a little afraid. It wouldn't be a true return to VTubing without playing a Chilla's art game as Mint would make this discovery. Do people typically go through these? Is this, is this, is this it? Is this why you guys wanted me to go through the entire train? Is this why you berated me to look through the supporters? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's really clever, actually. <laughs> the fact that she's in the, <laughs> in the salad. That game containing an Easter egg of Doki Bird, who is very slyly referenced in an earlier Made Men stream. Well, here now we have Doki tweeting out, does anyone have contacts with Fortnite or Epic? I have $1,000 worth of skins on my old account, but no access to get back into the account since I don't own the email anymore and they wouldn't let me swap emails. I just want to transfer my skins to a new account, adding my manager wasn't able to reach anyone after two months. So this is my last ditch effort to maybe get my account back since I really don't want to lose all the skins I own. It was the only game I actually paid for cosmetics since it made me happy. Ducky Bird further tweeting out, Fortnite reached out to me. Thank you everyone for signal boosting. They're going to see if they can do something about it tomorrow. So please give me your luck and hope to see good news. Ducky further tweeting, it was fixed early. Not only do I have my Fortnite skins back, but they gave me back my entire Epic account. Huge shout out to Hogman and Ikoros from the Epic team. You can now use the creator code Doki Bird, by the way. The old code won't work because I actually name changed it. Doki saying, I'm so happy I get to keep the account. Thank you, Epic and Fortnite for working with me so fast and expediting my ticket, even though it was the weekend. I was honestly ready for them to say no, since I read that it's hard to get back your account. So thank you. And regarding that creator code, Doki Bird on stream also revealing that through her old creator code, since she was given 5% of purchases using that creator code, she had seen upwards to 2,500 US dollars a month due to 
supporters using her code. Funds like that going back into things like this. Dokubert saying we are looking for more hashtag Dokibytes animators to join the team. If you want to join us, feel free to drop your animation portfolio examples in the replies. One of the most recent Dokibytes shorts animating how she took back her fan base name of Dragoons. Dokubert also sharing currently working on a reference sheet for the Dragoons with an artist and I love how this just looks like a DPS tank range support lineup Lamal. We have too many DPS goons. Please pick support to balance the team. Doki also saying, I love to work with Composer to make lo-fi covers of a few of my instrumentals so I can use them as more chill background music. Feel free to drop your portfolio in replies. Bonus if you can show me lo-fi examples. Doki recently also on stream stating she is now working on an original song. And that's not all she's cooking. Also saying, so I have an opportunity to work with an artist for a tomato form illustration. Deadline is super tight, two weeks, but if any artist is interested, please drop your portfolio below and replies. This all occurring before a long awaited collab between Snuffy and Doki Bird. Doki Bird saying, Snuffy is going to give me a tour of some of her favorite Roblox servers. Let's go ahead and take a look at how that collab played out. Do you think <laughs> lead tastes like it does? Like, did you ever eat like pencil lead? No, what? <laughs> That exchange leading to this artwork from QB, an impromptu art collab with Wolfsteak. Look, we're seeing that artwork and remarking, it's like a besto Snuffy. We all get one as long as we sip the radioactive Garfield cup once, we'll be fine. Snuffy replying back in character, Doki, I don't think that's how any of this works. As after, Snuffy would also share that the two may soon become sisters, indicating they may soon be sharing an artist or modeler together. I know uh, Doki and I have been wanting to collab for ages, now but uh before we had trouble finding a time together and i know that this has just been long overdue for both of us and <laughs> i was really nervous but i don't even know why i was scared that was fantastic <laughs> that was fantastic i could only hope that she also had a blast um, I think soon enough, we might be sisters in a way. After that, Doki Bird taking part in her first Japanese tournament, that being for the Apex Scars Cup. Doki saying, super honored to play with such amazing teammates. And then after that, Doki performing a long-awaited karaoke session, stating, I'm nervous, haven't really sang in a long time, so please keep expectations low, guys. I'll try my best. Doki Bird seeing taking to the stage here, as Algorithm Project's Eileen Noir would see this and say, I love this girl so much, she deserves all all the love and smiles. Protect Doki at all costs. Seventh Lord Shad remarking, I put together some karaoke visuals for Doki Bird. Getting it done in time, kinda, for the karaoke was really rewarding. Hope I can help more in the future. Hope you all like the visuals. As we can now visualize this, King Biscuit remarking, Doki Charities, Doki Makura is finally here. Thank you so much to Doki for organizing this event, and to those who bid on it, I will be shipping them out soon. There will be only two Doki Makura, one for the winner, and one for Doki. As now, with even more things VTubers say, we turn to our co-host Cody. Ko hi yo! We kick off today's segment with the cat VTuber of Hololive Gamers, Nekomata Okayu, who took to social media to tease a silhouette of a new outfit in celebration of her fifth anniversary, revealing some twin tails and a pair of glasses that sent Shirakami Fubuki into English mode, saying help me, ow, ow, ah. Okayu's new look, which was illustrated by Kamioka Shiro and rigged by Natmegu, features a lovely little boob window, some new accessories and some expressions. The cute cat released a cover of Kawaikute Gomen, as well as some celebratory merch with a theme of going out, so you can take Okayu outside whenever you touch grass. Also celebrating an anniversary was the OG Takino Sora, taking to Yamano Hall to perform a solo live concert for her sixth year with Hololive. There she performed twice, an afternoon session and an evening session. Sora took to social media to post a little behind the scenes of her dressing room, as well as her intermission lunch, while Hololive ID member Koreji Oli was tuned into the premium stream as she hosted a watch along on her channel. She went on to say the title of the concert was Keep Shining and Sora Senpai shined even brighter. Also in the audience was Sora's character illustrator Orudan who took to social media to say it was a great show and a great view. Let's do 10th and 20th anniversary too with Sora replying that she will continue for the 10th anniversary and beyond. Sora went on to say thank you to everyone. It was the best party. Let's continue to walk slowly together. Fans can continue to watch the 
premium archive on Pia up until May 6th with a sneak peek of the concert available on Sora's YouTube channel. On the topic of performances, we check out Holic Society's Kyori, who collaborated with Nissin Cup Noodles to host a mini solo concert where she performed seven songs, saying, my dream of a solo concert has come true. From here, let's move towards my dream of a live concert at a venue. For the fans who missed out and would like to watch the concert, the archive is available until April 14th, with a ticket selling for 3,300 yen. In other collaboration updates, we turn to Shishiro Botan, who teamed up with the National Museum of Nature and Science, taking to stream to talk about why it's one of her favorite places, and announcing that a special ad featuring Botan will be placed in the museum and remain there until April 6, 2025. The art for the poster, which was drawn by TMT, will be available for purchase online from April 11th. In music news, we visit Hoshimachi Suise, as her latest release, Bibi Deba, has reached number one in the Spotify Japan Rising chart and hit 49 in Japan's top 50 most played songs. The music video for the song reached 10 million views in 15 days, beating the previous record holder for a VTuber song, Chigure Ui's Lolly God Requiem, which hit 10 million views in just 17 days. Ui Mama's viral hit has now reached 90 million views in the space of six months. In Hololive Indonesia updates, we're celebrating the fourth anniversary of Hololive ID. The first gen talents, Risu, Muna, and Yopi, held a special stream on April 6th, where they announced a new outfit reveal relay, starting on April 10th with Risu, 11th with Muna, and 12th with Yopi. The three of them will finish up with a collab stream on April 15th. Celebratory merch is already available for purchase and includes acrylic stands, keychains, and stickers for all Hololive ID talent. Next, we turn to Koreji Oli, as it has been revealed she'll return to Anime Festival Asia, taking to the stage with Lam, where, according to her words, she will give you the ultimate Indonesian experience. Also attending AMA is Kobo, where she'll perform as a featured artist as part of the I Love Annie Song lineup. Kobo was recently drawn in Indonesian bridal wear. She took to social media to say there was an open vacancy for a prospective husband with a three to four digit salary, listing her advantages, such as laying around, playing games, and spending money. Meanwhile, Ollie provided her trade offer, saying, you marry me and provide for all my needs, wants, and necessities, I vibe. Yopi, on the other hand, wants to marry Godzilla. That after watching Godzilla cross Kong, adding that love really is blind. Zeta seems to share the sentiment somewhat, saying she'll marry Brachiosaurus, but will not eat veggies. And Risu wants to marry Slowpoke, which led to this art of the three of them living their best lives. The Hololive Indonesia girls join the rest of the Hololive branches in a new voice pack titled Situation Drama Series Volume 1. It depicts the girls as students at the Hololive Academy, where you have been reincarnated as the newest teacher. But for those not wanting to live out a new life at Hollow Academy, you can isekai into the workplace alongside Achan or even Nodoka, where they provide both Japanese and English packs. Fans, of course, will know exactly what they want. But that's everything from me. Back over to you, false. Thank you so much, Cody. And with even more things we to per se, we turn to our co-host, Lady. Thanks, false. 1950s diner waitress, Miss Lala, can be seen dancing the night away in this traditional animation by Laos, as they also hosted a 12-hour charity stream, including a variety of special guests throughout the stream. Personalized prints and merch were also given for donations. With the art for these signed prints done by Not Sweet Dandy, Miss Lala and patrons of the diner were able to raise over $11,000 for the charity stream. With Miss Lala posting, thank you so much to everyone who came by. That as this waitress would also get to talk more about the charity donathon over on VTuber Talk. So that's not all. As the diner goes post-apocalyptic, this coming month, April 11th, Lewd Squirrel VTuber Sif asks who's the best? Sif's the best. While also celebrating their birthday and initiating a birthday donathon, Magical Girl V Singer and Little Big Sister Nina Sautome celebrates their birthday along with an announcement to a new form. Nanobot VTuber Anjay celebrates reaching Twitch partner, posting today is exactly nine months since I've become a VTuber. So crazy how time flies. That is Anjay also had the opportunity to be invited to a meet and greet in Anime Las Vegas, showing a behind the scenes as everything got set up with the help of Senpai Squadnet. Rad VTuber Mercury promotes their VTuber debut, captioning will bringing hope carry despair, as Mercury would go out to post some pre-debut lore in the format of a manga, asking will you take this journey with me? With Mercury introducing themselves, I'm a Dumbo Rat VTuber with an addiction to Dr. Pepper and a love for my pet rats. Heavy Metal Elf and the Mistress of Chaos, Ilara, hosted tea time with around 40 VTubers in one cafe, with some noticing the very iconic character in the middle
little Sonic the Hedgehog, to which Alara just flexes, I've got connection. Radioactive variety VTuber Vividly ASMR announces their limited time merchandise collaboration with Studio Nekomata, now available for pre-order, as this radioactive VTuber has some sweet dreams. As Vivi goes into a little bit of a bunny mode with this art provided by Chessire, with Vivi then posting, I like chocolate egg day, with that Easter flower crown coming from Misu Murasaki, comfy VTuber Straub accelerates in the head empty energy, with this being Exhibit B. But that's not all as the Straub Bunny Girl is now available in plushy form. Now starting in a limited time campaign in collaboration with Makeshift, that will also bringing attention to Makeshift's new experimental gifting system. Your favorite chaotic dust bunny VTuber Wham Sabi would like to let you know that yes, their eyes are indeed down there. And I am looking very intensely. I mean respectfully. I mean intense. I mean I mean in respectfully int intensely respectfully. As this bun continues to spread lots of bunny love in their new form. Bubbly space pigeon metal V singer Zeph is shown illustrated here by Sit Rail. Celebrates reaching over 20,000 subs on YouTube. Posting, it feels pretty surreal to be here. I'm so thankful for each one of you who have joined me on this adventure. Receiving some congratulations fan art. As Zeph would also go out to release Has Been Hotel Poison cover that goes absolutely metalcore. Voice actor gone VTuber Sayu receives this Persona-like animation animated by Aho no Kaho along with these new Persona 3 Reload styled avatars provided by Faye. That as Sayu would post this close-up in tandem with Amelie with this being the promotion for their new cover stayed gone tech support edition. With Sayu posting April Fools you thought Amelie and we'd actually do a song cover together. Haha, <laughs> wait, what? Oh, it's real. Oh. With the cover reaching over 100,000 views in less than 24 hours and Sayu's music channel hitting over 200,000 subs. With fan art from the song already being made, this being provided by Panic Baby, that as this little android would also fall into the hyperfixation of Has Been Hotel as I grinded to release two covers within the same week. First one being Poison with the metal instrumental provided by Shard Line and giving out a huge thank you to everyone who watched as we currently celebrate reaching over 2,000 views on the cover. With the Poison cover followed up by Hell's Greatest Dad, gender bent to being Hell's Greatest Mom, where I not only animated and illustrated the MV painstakingly, <laughs> I still have one more has been cover planned along with a few others. Host and V singer Haragi Yu releases their premiere of You Are King as you would go out to thank everyone who came to the premiere, hosting It's been a while since I was able to involve myself in so many aspects of production. It was incredibly refreshing. That as you would provide them themselves not only their vocals but their mixing and art. Cyber Gyaru Stella Luna insists that they are just going for a ride that as their ASMR trolling may have backfired asking why are there 51 bookmarks this was a joke my guy while also posting an announcement on their indefinite hiatus first addressing that they would like to thank everyone for their support throughout the years saying I have built one of the best and wonderful communities I have ever had. Well it is sad that I will be leaving you all Ultimately, it is a very important step in my life that I've always wanted to take. And no, I will not be gone forever. This is why I'm going on an indefinite hiatus. So that if I ever want to come back, then I always have the chance to. With this hiatus starting May 1st, Starcross Adventuring VTuber Exoverse also releases their announcement of an indefinite hiatus starting June 8th, saying, I decided to go on an indefinite hiatus rather than having a graduation because I don't plan for this to be the end of EXO. Rather, a goodbye for now now instead of a farewell. Receiving a variety of replies, wishing EXO the best of luck for their future. And now back to you, False. Thank you, lady. And not to flex too hard, but yes, I am followed by the both of them. I don't know how to put this, but I'm kind of a big deal. As we also have a thanks to Ress, saying the later I stay up, the stupider ideas I get. Riffing off Cowboy Bebop here, in this artwork entitled Unlike You, I get my news from a reliable source. As that is all for this episode, as always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. Send in your VTuber news to our Discord as we'll have more things VTuber say for you soon. In music news, we visit, 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 redo. Celebrity merch, redo. Celebratory merch is available for all, what? Freaking redo. Uh. 
Kobo was recently drawn in Indonesian bridal redo, where they provide both redo. Celebrate switching. Restart. Start. I don't know. Whoa. Restart. <laughs> Higher. Just serene. Hey. Hey. What am I? What? Restart. With those Easter bunny. <laughs> restart. Is not oh, Restart. Oh, that sounded like. Restart. I don't know how to. A teaser. Not teaser. Ah. Restart. <laughs> oh. Oh, my tracking's gone. When did that happen? When? I'm I'm so sad. Do I just not have a face anymore? Oh, oh. oh no, wait. I'm gonna stop the recording to see when my tracking stopped. Um, th this will be a two-part recording. My bad. Okay, so fortunately, I think uh, looking back at it, the tracking only stopped when I started talking about myself. I don't know if that's a bad omen. That is whatever. I'm still gonna do it. Ah, restart. Thanks. Oh wait, sorry. <laughs> My brain completely reset. Restart. As we currently celebrate over... <laughs> Why are you talking about myself? Restart. And the second one... Restart. <laughs> With the second has-been hotel cover being a female... <laughs> restart. Where I only... <laughs> restart. Posting is the... <laughs> restart. Feel good. Feel good. Feel good. Yeah. Yeah.